Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is review about Triple IIT Dharwad and I am going to cover all about the admissions, cutoff, placements and the fees details right in this particular video. So it is basically Indian Institute of Information Te Technology, Triple IIT Dharwad and it's one of the public private partnership uh, college right out of Karnataka. So talking about this, it is a new college established in 2015 and location is Dharwad in Karnataka and the mentor institute for this college was IIT Dharwad. So initially IIT Dharwad was mentored by IIT Bombay and now the, uh, IIT Dharwad has mentored Triple IIT Dharwad. Talking about the campus and facilities, it provides a good amount of infrastructure. The new campus is in development but it has facilities of hostel, labs and classrooms etc. and access to clubs, coding societies etc. So this is the address. It is located in Satur Colony in Dharwad, which is in uh, Northern Karnataka. Contact details of the college. So short campus stood here. So it has the main academic block, which is called E block. And it has uh, all the uh, departments, faculty. And it has got its own modular space and converted, you know, 80 seater uh, classrooms. So bigger size classrooms are there with all different laboratory facilities. And then the there are also 120 seater and one 240 seater classrooms also available for organizing big workshop conferences and hackathons and the e block has all laboratories which are established with latest computing infrastructure and also has the library so these are pictures of beautiful e block of the academic buildings you know and the next one is called the phi block so phi block is very you know popular and it has it is made in the shape of phi and uh, uh, it has a boardroom, chairperson, director room, registrar office and all of those. So it also has a multifunction hall called M block within that. And this is also called the knowledge resource center or the incubation space. It has auditorium and indoor basketball as well. So this is a picture of the five block. Next talking about the boys hostel, it is called B block. So B block is around 200 rooms spread over six floors. And it provides for dining space as well as the common room for reading, games, activities, etc. So this is one of the picture of the boys hostel. Now talking about the girls hostel which is called the G block. So Infosys foundation has provided uh, girls hostel facilities in the G block and uh, has around 100 rooms. So it has a spacious dining hall, common room, reading rooms for girls also. Both the dining hall and the common rooms are uh, double height right and also equipped with new furniture. This is one of the picture of their girls hostel. Now talking about the health and the fitness block which is called H block. So it has a wellness center, pharmacy, gymnasium, yoga room, activity club rooms, music rooms, canteen, bank, e-banking, saloon and small shop right and it provides for gathering music and the digital screening events. So canteen has both indoor and outdoor seating arrangements. So this is one of the picture of the H block. Now talking about the admission process, so admission to all the courses are through JEE main score followed by JOSA CSAP counseling process. I will talk about the placement and the packages in later part of the video. Before that there are three courses which are available, BTEC in computer science and engineering, BTEC in electronics and communication engineering and the last one is the BTEC in data science and artificial in, in intelligence. And good news is that there is also a 20% super, super numerary quota seats available reservation for girls. So this is over and above the uh, overall seat capacity. So talking about the seat matrix now, uh, BTEC CSC uh, gender neutral seats are 165 for specially for female is 33. Total seats in BTEC CSC is 198. Next is the BTEC DSAI where 85 is the gender neutral seat and 17 seats are provided for female separately total seats is 102 and talking about BTEC ECE it is the same as DSAI 85 for gender neutral 17 for female and total 102 so grand total of all branches is around 402 seats are available now I'm going to talk about the fee structure of BTEC program and this is last year's fee structure so if you see the tuition fees is 52,500 rupees per semester and apart from that you have to also pay 10,000 rupees one time only in the first semester not in the second semester. A caution deposit of 20,000 that is also one time which is refundable. So if you see put together in the first semester you have semester you have to pay 182,500 but in the next semester only you have to pay 152,000 which is a regular fees of that semester. So total will be about 3.3 lakhs for per year. Now you talk about the hostel and the mess facility. So hostel user fee which is the hostel fee is 22,000 rupees per semester. Again this is in the per semester basis. 
and then every semester you also have to give mess bill which is 20000 and one time you have to give 10000 advance so if you put in the first semester total you have to pay 52000 out of that 10000 only one time you have to pay you don't have to pay in the second semester or onward so the total fees you have to pay in the first semester will be 182000 which is institute fee plus 52000 which is hostel and mess and when will be like 234000 in the sec subsequent semesters, you have to only pay 1,52,000 which institute fees plus 42,000 hostel and mess fee is equal to 1,94,000 per semester. So now this includes hostel plus tuition fees all put together. Now let's talk about the cutoff branch wise for last three years so that you will have idea. So first branch is BTEC in computer science engineering and this is for general merit category. So again here you can see uh, like uh, cutoff was 38,000 which increased to 47,000 and this is the last round cutoff. Last round you can get the CSC up to 54,459. Similarly, for general merit student in the last round, ECE at 65,000 and data science and artificial intelligence in the last round for general student at 58,374. Now, this is the cutoff for the OBC student all India category. BTEC CSC 74,427 last year in 2024. For BTEC ECE, last round cutoff was even up to 86,000 and data science up to 81,000. So, if your ranks are just under uh, you know 1 lakh, you can try this year, you may get these branches in the last round. Now I am going to talk about the schedule cast SC category seats, right? So SC category seats uh, in the last round, eighth round, BTEC in computer science engineering, two lakh forty thousand rank. So just over eighty percent time you may get this in the last round. Similarly for the electronics and communication engineering ECE, two lakh fifty one thousand in the round seven, and for data science and artificial engineering, two lakh forty eight thousand. So up to two point five lakhs you are getting data science and electronics plans through schedule cast quota. Now talking about the ST quota, schedule type quota, here computer science and engineering available up to 3,63,400 in the 7 round and uh, ECE is av available even up to 3,71,000 rank and data science up to 3,69,000 in the round 7. This is all for the ST students. Now talking about the cutoff for the economically weaker section, EWS cutoff was 66,605 in the round. 7. So, up to 70,000 you can expect this year in CSC branch. Similarly, for economically weaker section, uh, ECE available up to 74,518 in the round 7 and uh, data science and artificial intelligence available up to 71,074 in the round 7. These are all for the economically weaker section. And this is the last uh, cutoff which is for the person with disability PW, PWD all India quota last closing rank BTEC CSC 4,69,065 in the round 6. Now I will directly move to the placements part of it. So the type of companies which are recruiting here are like Delight, Capgemini, Infosys, Wipro. Also on the campus the companies visiting like Samsung, TCS and the master payers like Amazon and the mass recruiters like SCL also. Other multinationals like McAfee and then banking site HDFC. So it's a mix of mass recruiters plus uh, the multinational companies. Now if you compare the year wise placement, the highest package in 2022 batch was just 25 lakhs which increased to 35 lakhs in 2023 and in 2024 the highest package was 46 lakhs. So this is a good trend in the highest package. Now talking about the average packages. So average package of 2022 batch was 8 lakhs, 2023 saw the excellent placement and the average package increased to 11.52. But 2024 was the tough year for all the engineering colleges and the placement average package is now 9.54 which is just under 10 lakhs which is also a decent package for the bad year. Now talking about the median package. So median package for 2024 batch was around 8 lakhs. So now talking about the NIRF placement dot data which gives you the total number of placed students. So batch size is not big. It started with 180 students. So when 180 students were there in 2022 passing batch, out of 180, 161 were eligible and out of 161 students, 114 were placed. So the placement percent was in the starting batch around 60 to 70 percent and 7.5 lakh was the median salary in 2022. In the next year in 2023, the number of placed students were 106 out of 150 eligible. So there the placement percentage little bit dipped to around 50 to 60 percent. 60% rate and median salary increased to 7.85 lakhs and in 2024 batch if you see the latest total number of students are now 300 so out of 300 students 244 were eligible and the placed percentage were 113 only so the placement percentage has dropped big way and the placement trends is not showing a good 
direction in terms of number of students increasing but the number of students getting placed are low so median salary is good 8 lakhs which is still better but the placement percentage is very low you can see here right? so you should look for better options than this college in case your ranks are very good and under 1 lakhs and even you can definitely try uh, other non triple ITs or the colleges of uh, national importance but in the private sector if you can afford the fees so that's all i have to cover in this particular video thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges take care and bye